here we have the Colomar setting R200P. It's been a while since my new video, but I'm uh, rebuilding uh, my computer. So pretty much rebuilding, so, so starting from scratch again, set from my GPUs the same. And uh, this is the Coolmasa NR200P. It's really solid uh, design. Has uh, two USB slots on the front and an audio jack and this power button. I'm not too sure this lights up yet, so uh, it'd be interesting to see what we get out of this. But um, I'll, I'll let you know what it's like building in this uh, brand new case. So I've got the UK edition of uh, the which I think of the case, which is pretty much the same as um, any other um, any other one, but it comes with a uh, UK plug, I assume. So um, yeah, I'll get started and taking a look and see what it's like a building in so this I'm case. Just gonna, I'm just gonna quickly go through the um, parts that I'm using. So I'm using a 3600X. Yep, yeah, you know what you're getting with AMD. It's just gonna be a really good um, CPU. Price, I've got a 32 gigs of Crucial Ballistic RAM. So this is clocked at uh, 3200 megahertz. So I'm pretty sure that's all the Ryzen can um, handle anyway. So I thought 32 gigs future-proof it a bit. Um, I've got a Rocket NVMe 4.0. Heard some good things about this. Probably not really gonna get that crazy performance at 4.0, but um, yeah terabytes so it should be good to um, hold all my steam games and do some light computing on it but um yeah the reason it's so dusty is because i had to wait a while for this case to actually come in stock um but yeah so i've also got a uh, rog strix um motherboard so this is yeah i just went on pc part picker and picked out which one was good and this has some pretty solid reviews on it so for uh give it a try i'm normally an msi sort of uh motherboard person but um yeah might as well try send new and i've got these uh two of these not to a fans which are going to go at the bottom depending on uh, whether i'm gonna have um glass which i'm thinking of having glass even though it's going to sit under my desk it might be nice to try something new and maybe i'll switch them out because this mesh is actually pretty nice as well so yeah I will, I'll get started and see, see what the build's going to be like. Oh, I forgot the main uh, GPU. I forgot to say I've got an R RTX 2070. So this is from my previous build. Um, yeah, there's no point upgrading because you can't even find a new uh, new GPU anywhere. And this is going to be able to do everything I want to want to do anyway on the um, computer. I've got a 1440p uh screen so this is um it's good enough to push them pixels and i'm not expecting to play in 4k anyway and this screen doesn't support it so um yeah so it should be all good so a quick update i've unboxed everything and i'm just uh just getting ready to put the motherboard in and uh see how it goes so back on it i finally managed to get this in it's quite a tight Oh, it's quite difficult to put in actually. I'm just putting in some light strips and so it goes. Over, overall, this case is pretty uh, complicated. Well, it's ITX, so it's got to make sure you uh, manage everything and try and lay out everything as good as it can. So, I'll probably spend a lot of time on this. So, I found out the actual issue was I was using the wall screws with this. Uh, yeah, I was using the motherboard screws instead of the... I was using these screws instead of the actual ones. Um, and this was right pain in the arse to put in because I had to take the cord off to put the power to buy in. But I'm still going. Uh, it's not... It's a really hard build. Uh, it's not easy at all. But um, that's how it goes. So I'm nearly there. So I put the two fans in. I put these uh, LED strips around. I need to make this look a bit nicer. Remove this tape and find a bit of way to stick it down. I'm thinking maybe a uh, cable tie in here or something. Um, but I'm also waiting for a wire cable to arrive for these two fans because the motherboard. Uh, if you have a look at the headers, it only has two uh fan head well three fan headers one is 
for chassis, the other one's for the CPU, and one's for the pump, which runs at 100% all the time, which obviously you don't want. So I'm uh, going for a wire cable to split these two fans out. And uh, yeah, that should be it. Now I can get the graphics card. One day, I, as you saw, I, I didn't, got CPU fan error, so I messed up on the actual fans. So first one, I actually needed to plug in the fans. It didn't actually say, obviously, it didn't say you should plug in your fans in the build guide, so I skipped over it. And second one's for the pump, so I plugged that into the actual pump. And the uh, third one's for the chassis fans down here so I should all be going well now. Uh, LED strips in now I just need to remove this obviously it looks pretty crap but um lights are looking cool got it all it's recognized I think so yeah I'm still unsure if I'll keep the glass panel or not and I'm obviously still waiting for the side um fans because they're not obviously on at the moment so I need to wait for the wire cable to arrive but Oh, and that looks good. So hopefully uh, I can sort out this cable and then sort out this well, which I'm gonna do just now. So overall, this uh, case is really good. Um, I'd recommend it. It's just a lot fiddly to get stuff done in it, but I think the final outcome is quite nice. I've decided to, um, yeah, it doesn't lie up at the front, but I've decided to keep the panel, uh, the mesh panel on, because I think it looks pretty cool with the light up like that. So. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it.